one of my favorite ones, genre. When we communicate with others, we always communicate with others, we always do interaction. Uh, we want to be understood. Now, we can only be understood when we produce recognizable meanings, all right? So when we, when, when we produce statements, all right, the meaning of which is recognizable for others. For instance, if I call you cool, the idea is that you recognize the meaning of cool and like it, right? Or at least attribute a value to it, uh, much in the way that I attributed to it, right? Now, we, we do that at a very low level, also word by word almost. When I say yes, you know, it's recognizable. Uh, as an as an agreement usually okay but we also do that at various other levels for instance uh, you also need to be recognizable uh, when when you make particular types of statements and construct particular types of messages for instance if you want to make a complaint it needs to look and sound like a complaint it shouldn't look like a compliment so if you're really unhappy about a product and you go to a shop and you want to complain about it, don't say, this is the greatest product I've ever, uh, I've ever had. I'm so happy that I paid a lot of money for it. Give me another one. No, that's not a complaint. So you need to organize your message in such a way using all kinds of details in a particular sequence so that it looks and sounds and actually is a complaint. Now that is what we call genre. Is the organization of details in particular order, in a particular order that creates the recognizability of a particular genre. Now you can apply this, this principle, you know, to all the genres you know, from a joke to um, flirting to um, um, writing an essay uh, to, 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 um, um, being a nuisance on the bus, and so on and so on. Uh, it's all about recognizability, and recognizability resides in the organization of a particular order in a range of details, across a range of details, and that's the genre.